Hey guys, so in this module, um, it's all about visual literacy. And you know, visual literacy is looking at an image and being able to take meaning from that image. And maybe inferring, thinking critically about what what you're what you're seeing. And you know, images like we get bombarded with images every single day. And you know, I could and you may have done this before, you know, in a, in a presentation or, or watch a TED talk or something where you, you know, they, they show you the Nike swoosh and everybody knows what that is. You don't have to see the, you know, it's Nike or anything like that. You just see the swoosh. Um, you know, the golden arches from McDonald's. The whole, you know, there's always these icons, these images that we understand what they mean. But then we see other images and it's not maybe as clear. So what I want us to do during this module is kind of um, explore visual literacy. What is it? How can we um, implement it in our courses? What does it do? What, what does teaching visual literacy, excuse me, add to our instruction? Why is it important? And to do that, you, you're going to explore some resources about visual literacy and then you're going to actually um, do some activity using images and those this is where the uh, we're going to be practicing with some technology and you're like wow this is antique technology well you might think so but you also might be amazed at how many people still struggle with these things so one thing you're going to do is use a scanner to scan in an image and some people have been using scanners for 15 years. And it's amazing how many people have never used a scanner. So you might be, you do this, ah, no problem. And that's cool. You might be somebody who's never used a scanner. And so this is going to be an experience that's good for you. And even if you have used a scanner before, sometimes it's good to go back and use one because we don't use them quite as often as we used to. But we still have items, especially as we move into those of you who are in the library media emphasis, we'll find that we still have resources in our libraries, print resources, that need to be digitized. And a lot of times the, the best way to digitize those print resources is by scanning them. So you might you know, need the experience using the scanner so that when you're working with possibly digitizing some items in your collection, you'll know how to do it. So you'll be using a scanner. You'll be working with a camera. Could be the camera on your phone. You might have a digital SLR. You might be a budding professional photographer. I don't know. We'll probably have the whole spectrum in this course. And so I want you, you're gonna practice taking some images, what is rule of thirds and all that stuff. So there's, there's information about taking good digital photographs. And then you're gonna also convert a Word document into a PDF. And a PDF, the portable document file, allow you to share a document with anybody and not, what's the word I want? Well, not ruin the formatting. Ruin's not the word I wanted, but you want to keep that formatting the way it is. And I don't know if you've noticed, but sometimes when you do something in a Word document, if you send it to someone else and they don't have the same font on their computer, it doesn't show up the same. Same with presentations and all that kind of thing. So sometimes you want to convert to a PDF because then anybody can open it with a PDF viewer. So we're going to, you're going to learn about what PDF is and all of that in this module as well. And then we're going to take all that and your assignment that you're going to turn in, excuse me, I have an itch, for this module is going to be you're going to scan an image you're going to take an image with a camera and then your final image I believe is one you might already have on your computer or maybe there's two images that you take with the camera and it's gone now which is which but um, I know you take an image you scan an image so there's three different images that you'll submit with each of those images, you'll have a little, you know, tell us a little about what the picture is. 
But then I also, as part of your assignment, you're also going to um, tell me how you could use that image to teach visual literacy in your class or to your students or in your library or maybe to teachers or whatever. But how could you use that image to teach a visual literacy concept? So make sure you read the directions on that assignment very closely because in the past people have just told me, well, this is a picture about yada, yada, yada and not done the visual literacy part of it. And I don't want anybody to miss that. Okay. So make sure you read those directions very carefully. There's also a rubric attached to that assignment. And enjoy what you're going to learn in, um, in this module because it's interesting. Uh, for a lot of us, it might be a refresher, and that's never a bad thing. Your one technology you're going to use is a voice thread, and a voice thread is a, it's a discussion, but it's done using, you can use voice, you can use video, you can use type. Either one. And I will I will tell you this, the voice thread that we're going to be using is the one from last summer because my account is locked and I can't get anybody from voice thread to reply to me. So instead of going through and redoing the whole thing right now, I have a note to redo it for, for next summer's class, but it's not going to get redone for you guys. So go ahead. There's lots and lots of comments in the voice thread that you'll see. Go ahead and leave your comments and then if you want to listen to a few and see what other people have to say, that's great as well. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that was there when you get in there and you see all these comments and then you guys are going to add your comments to it as well. So there's going to be lots and lots of comments on the voice thread. I don't think there's a limit to the number of comments, but if you do get on voice thread and find that you can't leave comments for some reason, let me know. And I will see how I can kind of alter things. I might need to have to make a new one after all. I don't know. All right, so there's that piece. So visual literacy. What is it? Why is it important? And how does it help our instruction? Are you ready? Go. <laughs> 